Hi everyone, welcome back to MovieJube. I am here to be watching Schindler's List for my first time ever and I'm very excited despite how much I know this will probably make me really sad um, and I'm really excited to watch it along with you all. I thank you all so much for suggesting this film and especially uh, for those of you who know my history. Basically my grandfather narrowly survived the war from his actually from his Christian wet nurse who literally saved his life but unfortunately his whole family was put in concentration camps and didn't make it um, but yeah so I'm very fascinated to learn more about these concentration camps I thankfully have forever my grandfather's story on a DVD that he filmed um, with an interviewer and so I get to know his direct experience anytime I need because he actually passed when I was three years old so I didn't get to know him super well unfortunately but yeah um, I really hope you guys are excited to come on this journey with me and I brought a box of tissues next to me <laughs> because I will probably need it but yeah please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and for those of you who'd like to watch the full uncut version that will be available on our patreon link is in the description and the pinned comment so you can check that out if you're interested and if not that's totally fine okay let's get into it and I know very little about this film other than it's about concentration camps I believe um, but I know it's a must watch Schindler's List. I know that prayer every Shabbat. I don't really celebrate it, I'm not religious, but... September 1939, the German forces defeated the Polish army in two weeks. Jews were ordered to register all family members and relocate to major cities. More than 10,000 Jews from the countryside arrived in Krakow daily. My softer was born in Krakow. But she thankfully escaped to Russia and then France and then Australia before the war. Salomon. I didn't know this film was in black and white, but they would have watched at the time. If anything, come to the table, girls. Drink with us. Marry us. Marry us. <laughs> Who is that man? That Oscar Schindler. Oh, <laughs> in front of. Comprised of 24 elected Jews personally responsible for carrying out the orders of the regime in Krakow, such as drawing up lists for work details, food and housing, a place to lodge complaints. The Judrat. Judrat. But um, they're making it out as all of them look very religious and Hasidic, but I think that's a minority of Jews that are Hasidic. Come into our house and tell us we don't live there anymore. I mean, what if I just took this thing off? What are they going to do about it? They will shoot you. By law, I have to tell you, sir, I'm a Jew. Well, I'm a German, so there we are. Change the machines around, whatever you do, you can make other things, couldn't you? Army contracts. Yeah. Once the war ends, forget it, but for now it's great. In fact, the worse things get, the better you'll do. Finding the money to buy the company. <laughs> That's all. You know anybody? Jews, yeah. Jews can no longer own businesses. Ah, but they wouldn't own it. I'd own it. Let me understand. They'd put up all the money, I'd do all the work. What if you don't mind my asking, would you do? The presentation. She traded for Russian goods. For arms. You have a truck of wicks. What am I going to do with a truck of wicks? People go to church to discuss business. <laughs> Hello. Do you know where I can find a nice shirt like that? It's illegal to buy or sell anything on the street. We're here to pray. Oh God. <laughs> I'm going to need some other things too as things come up. It won't be a problem. 
from time to time. March 20th, 1941, deadline for entering the ghetto. Edict 4491 establishes a closed Jewish district south of the Vistula River. Residency in the walled ghetto is compulsory. All Jews from Krakow and surrounding areas are forced. Oh, sorry, didn't finish it. But yes. Because this house is no longer their house. And that contrast. It could not be better. How on earth could it possibly be worse? Money still money. No, it is not. They're having to, yeah, sell, like, use all their monies for things. That's why people would sell their rings and jewelry and fur coats. What do we know that you will do what you say? You want a contract? To be upheld by what court? I said what I'll do. That's our contract. This is what you pay the Reich Economic Office. The Jews themselves receive nothing. Okay, so regular Polish people would get paid and be able to live outside of the ghetto. But not Jews. Poles cost more. Why should I hire Poles? It's outside the ghetto, so you can barter for extra goods or eggs. I don't know what you need with the God, they're desperate to be outside of the ghetto. I'm not going to hide like some animal. There are places to hide. I'm a graduate of the University of Lvov. Yeah, Lvov, that's where my grandpa grew up. In Lvov. I think you misunderstand the meaning of the word. I teach history and literature. Yeah, but they don't want Jews to learn that. It's metal polisher. It is not right. It's very good. He's 53 years old. It's too new. Oh, huh. nice. <laughs> Make it look old. Your work certificate you keep in your pocket at all times. <sighs> Trying to prevent non-essential workers from leaving on those trucks. I'm a writer. I play the flute. But Moses is a old metal worker. Give him your card. Moses. Yeah, you're all great with metal. How is your typing? Yeah, I'd probably try to be like a typist or something. If I could. Or they'll try to flirt with him. Oh, he's not even interested. But she's good. <laughs> oh, God. You need a secretary to one. Big smile. Big smile. What did he hire them all? <laughs> Except for the old lady. It is my distinct pleasure to announce the fully operational status Deutsche in my fabric. Just pretend, for Christ's sake. Is that all? He's never drinking from him. I wonder why he doesn't have to wear the Magen David armband. Lunovska, who is it? She's so embarrassed to look at her. You know something? You would like her. Mrs. Schindler-Marek. Yeah, it is his wife. There was always something missing. In every business I tried, I can see now it wasn't me that failed. Something was missing. War. So he wanted the war for his business. Promise me, Oscar, no tall man or maitre tea will ever presume I'm anyone other than Mrs. Schindler. Oh, I couldn't promise that. <laughs> yes, better this month than last. Okay, now he's wearing... Patch. I want to thank you. The SS beat me up. They would have killed me. But I'm essential to the war effort. That's great. He saved my life. Yes, he did. God bless you. Don't, Don't ever do that to me again. Go. But notice that that man had one arm. Did he? What's his use? Very useful. Very useful. You need to understand that some of the officers here don't give a damn about production. Uh, so they get them to do different jobs? You know it, and I know it. 
juice shoveling snow. It's got a um, richer significance. Come with me. I am an essential <laughs> worker. Essential worker. <laughs> I work for Oscar Schindler. Schindler. Yes. 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 Danke, look at the snow. Look at the snow. Look at the snow. <laughs> I expect to be compensated. File a grievance with the economic office. Was a treasonable idea. Leave your luggage on the platform. Clearly it. My plant manager is somewhere on this train. If it leaves with him on it, it'll disrupt production and the armaments board will want to know why. Stop the train! He's here! What if I got here five minutes later? Then where would I be? It's so heartless. <laughs> the bags are never going to them. <laughs> Thankfully, I still have the photos of my grandpa's family before they before they were killed. <laughs> That's messed up. Oh my god, this man looks a lot like, or with the glasses on, he looked a lot like my grandpa. Jewish town, Krakow, ghetto, winter 42, 1942. Up from a dream this morning. I was broke and sharing a room with 12 people I didn't know. Only to discover I was broke and sharing a room with 12 people I didn't know. Laugh at that? I have to laugh. Do you have any questions, sir? Yeah, I was top down. I'm fucking freezing. Plasso forced labor camp under construction. She says the foundation was put on. She's got to take it down. The entire foundation has to be torn down and report. You are an engineer? Yes. Don't think they care if it collapses. Shoot her. Oh, yeah, yeah. It will take more than that. I'm sure you're right. Take it down, rebuild it, like she said. God, I... Humans to other humans are the worst possible thing. Today is history and you are part of it. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I just don't understand. Like, what difference do they think it will make? Liquidation of the ghetto, March 13th, 1943. In what way does it help their lives? I just don't get it. They really think this will solve all their political and economic problems they've ever had in the world. <laughs> but I've always said that if I had one wish, it would be to remove all hatred in the world. Oh, they're eating it. Ah, uh, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't blame them. <coughs> I don't blame them. It's better faith than anything else that could happen. Dresses in color.
Okay, now she's in black and white. Yeah, midnight is usually when they're allowed to, or they feel like they're allowed to come out and there won't be any checks, but sometimes it would be checks from the soldiers. <laughs> My grandpa was able to hide because I think the, um, his wet nurses, she had like a rental property and it was just outside of the ghetto, so it wasn't technically part of the ghetto. I wish this fucking night were over. Oh, poor you. I wonder how many Polish Jews live in Poland to this day. I'm sure very few. Because even if they did manage to survive, I'm sure they would have moved. Had too many memories in Poland. Emmanuel is my grandfather's name. The worst is over. We are workers now. It just baffles me that these humans, no matter their ideations, can just become so cruel and just feel like, yeah, this is fine. This is what I want to do. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. We're moving inside the way of Commandant Amon. No, 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 no. Sit, sit. Julian, how are you? Good to see you, my friend. Everybody's gone. They're not gone. They're here. They're mine! Well. Every day that goes by, I'm losing money. Lena, thank you. That's the girl that he hired, I think. But he called her Lena instead of Helen. What you want is your own sub-camp. You could make things easier for me. Okay. Bringing people... They've got people back to the... Factory. We need more wine. Oh wow! I, oh, Jesus. I couldn't get you out of here. You're right. I look in on you. See how you're doing. Herr director, don't let things fall apart. I work too hard. Metalworks factory inside plus so forced labor camp or plus show. I don't know how they pronounced it. What are you making? Hinges, sir. Make me a hinge. Yes, sir. That you've been working since, I think, what, about six this morning. Such a small pile of hinges. No matter what, it just, it's never enough, never good enough. And... Oh Christ. Yeah, that's a angle lever, maybe it's bent. No, no, no. God! Oh my god. They don't care. Man walks around with a chicken and nobody Sorry. notices this. <sighs> Still, nobody knows. <laughs> you committed this crime. No, sir. But you know who, though? Yes. Who? Him! <laughs> sir, thank you. Welcome again. So is he making note of all the gifts he's giving, um, Mr. Stern? They say that no one dies here. They say your factory is a haven. Who says that? Everyone. My name is Regina Perlman, not Elsa Krause. My parents are in Brasov. Kana and Jakob Perlman. I don't do that. You've been misled. Cry and I will have you arrested. <laughs> Send them over to Schindler. 
His place is a haven, didn't you know? Are you losing money? No, I'm not losing money. That's not the point. That's not the point. Is it's dangerous. If he's seen as an empathizer for the Jews, he will be killed himself. But in normal circumstances, he wouldn't be like this. He'd be all right. Have Goldberg bring them over. So is she hiding out as well as a non-Jew in Krakow? I hear that it didn't even matter if you, like, in front of them converted to Christianity or something. It's just because you're born Jewish. I'm Schindler. Why don't you keep this someplace? Go on, take it. Why not build yourself up? My first day here, he beat me because I threw out the bones from dinner. He said the reason I beat you now is because you ask why I beat you. And so you never asked again. One day, he will shoot me. No, no. You can say to yourself, if I follow these rules, I will be safe. But you won't. He won't shoot you because he enjoys you too much. It's all right. It's not that kind of a kiss. <laughs> Thank you. Shh. It's when we have every justification to kill, and we don't. You think that's power? That's what the Emperor said. A man stole something, he's brought him before the Emperor, he mm -hmm. throws himself down on the ground, he begs for mercy. He knows he's going to die, and the Emperor pardons him. Yeah, that's true, that is power. He lets him go. That's power, Amon. Go ahead, go and leave, leave, I pardon you. <laughs> he says it. I pardon you. So he just so badly wants power. Wants to feel powerful. <sighs> okay. Yep, that didn't satisfy him. This is where you come to hide from me. Came to tell you I would like so much to reach out and touch you in your loneliness. Would you, wouldn't you not want to because she's Jewish and filthy? Person in the strictest sense of the word, but is this the face of a rat? I don't know. Ask yourself. Ask your own beliefs. You nearly talked me into it. <laughs> On behalf of the, of the workers, so I, I wish for you a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Tell them thank you from me. And with the children too. <laughs> I just wanted how how can you? Like <laughs> children, I just don't get it. No use for the children. <laughs> you didn't see him. They're hiding. I'm telling you, they're hiding. Oh God. Oh. Oh God. He likes good-looking women. He sees a beautiful woman he doesn't think. I saw this girl and this girl was, whoa. <laughs> she was very good looking. They cast a spell on you, you know, the Jews. Mm. It's like a virus. Some of my men are infected with this virus. They should be pitied, not punished. It's a matter of money. You're offering me a bribe? It's a gratuity. <laughs> Ooh, from the chambers. Ooh, 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 ooh. Chujoa Gorka, April 1944. Department D orders Goeth to exhume and incinerate the bodies of more than 10,000 Jews killed at Plasso and the Krakow ghetto. Massacres. Ah. Uh. Wow. 
party's over, Oscar. They're closing us down, sending everybody to Auschwitz. Yeah, to Auschwitz. I have to help organize the shipment and put myself on the line. Oh my god, I put himself on <laughs> Yeah, sure, Auschwitz would be just great. Of course, you'll have to hire new workers. Poles, I guess, they cost a little more, but what are you going to do? <laughs> Some day, this is all going to end, you know. I was going to say we'll have a drink then. <laughs> Not after Auschwitz. I think I better have it now. <laughs> He's always been so composed. <laughs> Jeez. You want these people? These people. My people. I want my people. Doesn't make any sense. Look, um, look you're not telling me something. It's good for me. Okay, so he's making a list of those he wants to take with him to Czechos Czechoslovakia. Uh, Fischer. Ishmael Fischer. 400. Four fifty. More, more. Six hundred. More. You're buying them, you're paying him for each of these names. If you were still working for me, I'd expect you to talk me out of it. It's costing me a fortune. The list is an absolute good. His life all around its margins lies the cuff. There's a, a clerical error here at the bottom of the last page. I never find a maid as well trained as her at Brinitz. They're all country girls. No. One hand of 21. If I win, the girl goes on my list. Helena Hirsch. She gets to go. So with our Brinlitz, Czechoslovakia, Oskar Schindler's hometown, okay. The train with the women has already left Pueshov and will be arriving here very shortly. Ooh, the women aren't going to Czechoslo Czechoslovakia, are they? Oh, They're in Auschwitz. The train was never routed here. A paperwork mistake. Oh, God. Really? It was just a paperwork mistake? <laughs> Is it just a normal shower? There's no way. Okay. Oh, that was just a normal shower. <laughs> Their fingers polish the insides of shell metal casings. How else am I to polish the inside of a 45 millimeter shell casing? Back on the train! <laughs> They've all had their hair shaved, so they must know where they went. It is unlawful to kill a worker without just cause. I am entitled to file damage claim. If you shoot without thinking, you go to prison, I get paid. Guards will no longer be allowed on the factory floor without my wow. authorization. I also didn't know there were women guards. No doorman or maitre d' will ever mistake you again. You must like be it. Mr. Schindler. Pleasure to meet you. The artillery shells, tank shells, rocket casings. Apparently all of them have failed quality control. Oh, tests. Look, Stan, if this factory ever produces a shell that can actually be fired, I'd be very unhappy. What's the matter with you? You should be preparing for the Sabbath. Oh my 
my gosh, wow. For the seven months it was fully operational, Schindler's Brindlitz Munitions Factory was a model of non... During the same time period, he spent millions of Reichmarks to sustain his workers. This this really happened, Lord, like based on a true story. General Jodl signed the act of unconditional surrender for a moment. I think it's time the guards came into the factory. The unconditional surrender of Germany has just been announced. The war is over. After six long years of murder, victims are being mourned throughout the world. I know you have received orders from our commandant to dispose of the population of this camp. Now would be the time to do it. This is your opportunity. Or you could leave, turn to your families as men instead of murderers. What about your wife? In memory of the countless victims among your people, I ask us to observe three minutes of silence. They must be in disbelief, these people. We've written a letter trying to explain things in case you were captured. Every worker has signed it. Wow. <laughs> it's Hebrew from the Talmud. It says whoever saves one life saves the world entire. That is a quote from the Torah. It's amazing people like like that man that changed the lives of so many. Like even just uh, my grandfather's wet nurse. If not for her, I wouldn't be here. The butterfly effect he has caused is astronomical. That's why people went so far. They either went to like America or Canada or Australia or South Africa. They wanted to be as far away from where they were. Amon Goeth was arrested while a patient in a sanatorium at Bad Tolls. He was hanged in Krakow for his crimes against humanity. So who in enforced it? Oskar Schindler failed at his marriage and several businesses after the war. Not surprised. In 1958, he was declared a righteous person by the Council of the Yad Vashem in Jerusalem and invited to plant a tree in the Avenue of the Righteous. It grows there still. Wow. <laughs> the Schindler Jews today. Oh my God. They were there in the 90s to do this film in memory of the more than 6 million Jews murdered. That was unsurprisingly incredible and really sad. Um, I can't believe how much that was based on a real story. It's just the, the, the things just like a single person or just a few selfless people can make a difference is insane. And um, so he technically you know, save 6,000 lives from all the descendants that came from, like 6,000 more lives from all the descendants that came from what he did. I, I can't believe it. And he had no obligation to do any of this. It was just because he, he tried so hard to play the system for the injustice he felt and still stay alive and not, you know, uh, hung by the Nazis for being like a betrayer or an insider or something but that's incredible I um I didn't get that if his wife was Jewish or not I'm not too sure but um yeah wow that was incredible um and just makes you see like I don't know I don't know just all the different ways that 
these people's lives were affected even if they weren't directly in Auschwitz oh god but yeah thank you all so so much for watching along with me I'm sorry for not speaking too too much or I don't know crying a lot but I know that you will all understand you're so very kind about that so thank you all so so much and uh please make sure to leave a like and subscribe um and once again if you'd like to see the full uncut reaction that'll be available on patreon uh but you don't have to but yeah thank you all so much for joining me on this and uh I will see you all in the next one bye